Listen, do not buy a home in the North Texas area until you watch this video about school districts. Billy Cowell here. I am a real estate agent with EXP Realty, helping transplants and families find the best possible place to call home. My contribution is really a focus on the Frisco area, but all the surrounding areas are very similar and in some ways a little different. One of the ways that they are a little different and very much the same is the schools, which is what I'm going to go over in this video. Listen, what you know about the schools of Frisco, Plano, McKinney, and Allen, if you have any particular experience or you have a kid that goes there, share your experience in the comments. I would love to hear about it. I'd love to expound upon it. And in the blog post, which is linked here, I will share that information. Obviously, it won't be in this video, but I will put it in the blog post so other people, other transplants, other families can find that information and use it while they make literally family decisions for the rest of their lives. Also, I want to encourage you to subscribe to this YouTube channel and shoot me a Facebook friend request so we can do this thing together. I help people buy and sell homes by being the best possible agent that I can be. But we really need each other so we can help grow. So let's stay connected. This video is going over the schools. Now moving to this area of the country, or whether you live in this area of the country and you want a little bit of information, it's real easy to go to some of the schools that, I mean, some of the websites that rank the schools and look at those rankings, but you don't see so many elements of it. Now, that's where I ask if you have any experience and you're watching this video, share it in the comments but I'm gonna share with you what I have discovered. And first I'm gonna go over what do the schools of Plano, Allen, McKinney, and Frisco have that's similar. Then I'll go over what do they have that's a little bit different. Now, similar across the board, these schools are in some ways very homogenous. Um, they all rank a 10 out of 10 in the academic performance score, which puts them in the top 10% of all schools in Texas. All right, so they take all the schools in Texas and they chop it up in tens. And if you're in the top 10%, you get a 10 out of 10. If you're in the top 20%, uh, you get a nine out of 10, et cetera, et cetera. Now in all of the cities that I mentioned, again, Plano, Frisco, McKinney, and Allen, all, the, all of them have home values over 200,000 on average. The graduation rates of all of these schools is above 95%. And of those graduating, 75% of them are college ready. Generally, these schools in this area have a class size of about 20 students. And like I said, they have a lot of similarities and they have a lot of differences. One thing that you will find that's similar is that these schools, the public schools in these cities, rank far superior to schools across the nation. All right, to many private schools and magnet schools in certain cities, they don't have the resources and the, the, the level of education and experience that your children are able to get in these public schools in these beautiful cities. So I'm going to start with Allen School District. And this school district is very unique because in the entire city, they have kept all the kids going to one high school. Now, of course, football is a big thing in Texas. So a lot of times people will say, and there's no definitive answer to this. I'm sure you couldn't find a definitive answer. Maybe. Um, but they keep them all going to the same high school so they can create the best football team ever. And get this, the Allen High School is usually, and I say usually because it's pretty much every year, ranked the number one football team in the entire country, often churning out professional athletes and Heisman Trophy winners. So um, if your kid is the one, all right, the one, that should be the place that you can go, should go to. Um, also, the resources aren't spread across different schools. One of the disparities amongst these schools is a school a system such as Frisco has 12 or 13 high schools, whereas Allen only has one. Both of them have great rankings, but there's a big difference between the resources of a, of a system that has one high school and a system that has 10 or more. Now, I mentioned football for Allen. So get this, their football stadium, when you drive by, you're like, what the heck is that? It's a $60 million football stadium. All right, yeah, $60 million. It's actually nicer than most colleges. And um, one of the things that we did in the first month or two that we lived here was we went to a high school football game. And I haven't been to a high school football game for my own high school since I've graduated. But as an adult, it was such an experience to go to 
the Allen Eagles football game and watch them, I mean, just toast the, the, the other team. I mean, they, they have their team is so superior to most of the other teams they play against that it's a unique experience, and I encourage you to check that out when you come here. Now, get this. Allen High School has 6,600 students, which by far and large puts it as the number one school in terms of the amount of students in all of Texas. As a matter of fact, the number two school is 1,000 students less. So um, it makes it the biggest high school that you're going to find in Texas. It's actually not even in the top 10 across the United States, but it is the biggest high school in the state of Texas. It's ranked number five by the Texas Education Agency, has about 21,000 students in the, in the entire system with a student to teacher ratio of about 16 to one. And then the statistics of math, 77% are proficient, 73 proficient in reading. These are just testing averages. Niche.com, I use some of their statistics because they had a pretty good aggregate, but they ranked Allen High School number eight out of a thousand, just overall, broad stroke. Number six for athletes, um, and that's all sports, and number 109 out of 1,000 in diversity. So that's pretty high on this scale. Now, moving on to Frisco. Now, Frisco is a little bit different because it has 12, maybe even 13 by the time you watch this video, high schools in its system. And the student population of each high school is between 1,200 and 2,000. So it's a very different setup. So if you're moving to this area of the country and you're looking at schools, you'll see that Allen has nines and tens on the grade school rankings. Um, and Frisco has nines and tens, but you might live here for three, two or three years before you understand that, that Frisco is adding two schools to its system every year since 1995. So they're building crazy amounts of schools, whereas Allen is making do with everything they have and building bigger, bigger from within. So they're very different systems. Now Frisco literally has one of the fastest growing ISDs or school systems in the entire country. Is ranked number eight by the Texas Education Agency, has 60,000 or more students in the system right now, with 75% being proficient in math, 72 being proficient in reading. Frisco has the highest average home price of the four school districts that I'm going over today. And now going into those niche.com uh, aggregate statistics, they gave Frisco number six out of a thousand in terms of just school districts in Texas, number 24 for athletes, and number 216 for diversity. So it's a little less diverse than Allen. So let's power through these. We've got two more schools. The second one is Plano. Plano's got a different system in that they have six high schools for ninth and 10th graders and three high schools for 11th and 12th graders. So it's a little different. And it's ranked number seven by the Texas Education Agency. It has 55,000 students, 73% proficient in math, 64% proficient in reading, and the average home price is about a quarter million dollars. The niche.com statistics put Plano in at number 10 of all school districts in Texas, put it at number 85 for athletes, and put it at number 13 for diversity. So it's pretty diverse school. The last one I wanna go over is McKinney. Now McKinney's ranked number 12 by the Texas Education Agency, has 24,000 students, 62% proficiency in math and 58% proficiency in reading. The average home price in McKinney being just around $200,000. Niche.com gave McKinney School District 43 out of 1,000 overall, 37 for athletes, and 114 for diversity. Those are the four school districts, some statistics that kind of differentiate them. And listen, if your kid wants to be a high school quarterback, and they are the absolute star, you put them in Allen. If they're just really, really, really good, you put them in Frisco or McKinney um, or Plano. I'm not sure if I've dropped the numbers disclaimer in this video, and I wouldn't usually do any type of disclaimer. I don't really necessarily need to. But right now, I'm going to go over numbers for these schools that really just make you think a little bit about schools in Texas. These are numbers that I wouldn't even have been able to estimate when I first moved here, and they're interesting to know. So Plano has 288,000 people in 2018 with 55,000 students. Um, their school budget is $700 million, $700 million, dropping in at $12,000 per student. All right, now I don't know if those numbers are 100% correct. I checked them twice. Um, so if you find something different, leave it in the comments, but I think that that's about right. 
McKinney, almost 200,000 residents, 24,000 students, with a $245 million budget dropping in at $10,000 per student. Now, Frisco, get this, Frisco only has 188,000 residents, but it has 60,000 students. I don't know if that works out correctly. One third of all residents in Frisco are kids in the Frisco school district. By and large, the most amount of students of all four of these school districts. So that actually makes the amount of money of that $470 million in their budget drops it in around $7,800 per student. <clears throat> now, Allen has 100,000 residents with 21,000 of them being students of the Allen School District. They apply their $200 million budget to about $9,500 per student. So the numbers are big, just like everything else is bigger in Texas. If you want more information, I would love to provide it for you. I don't necessarily know what people are looking for when they're moving here outside of what I was looking for. I do know that the better school districts are going to have lower crime. They're going to have better housing. Um, they're also probably going to have higher taxes to pay for those schools. But you got to give and take a little bit. And these are, you know, I didn't include Prosper in here and I ha really have my eye on Prosper. But these are really the best of the best in this area of the country. So finish this up. My name is Billy Cowell. I really have a passion to help people like us who are transplanting to Texas move here, make this their home, and I'm providing information for people to move here. So if there's something that you would particularly want me to do a video about, maybe you live in New York City or California or Chicago, I would love to do that, reach out to me. And like I said, shoot me a Facebook friend request. I would love to bring you in as part of our community, allow you to observe just the outpouring that my myself and my family. So we have a heart to help families. I mean, if you can see me flopping my hands around here and you can see these wristbands, you can see this one says visitor because I need to go back to the hospital where my wife and my newborn baby, Brooklyn, number four in the Cowell household, are awaiting me this evening. So I'm looking forward to that and I'm looking forward to you bringing your family here. If there's any way that I can help you, I want to encourage you to be bold and make a move. And I hope this brought you some value. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.